Rib fractures are very difficult to diagnose. They're hard to find. If you see one on an x-ray, there's many more that you might be missing. And the answer isn't just giving pain meds anymore. The old thought was that you couldn't fix ribs because they're in motion with every breath. Um, the old process was that you would just promote pain control so that patients could continue to do their deep breathing and basically the whole recovery was focused on preventing pneumonia. In about 2000, early 90s, 2000, people started developing more and more smaller hardware. Technology started changing. The goal is if you have a broken bone that's designed by the red line here and it's moving, is to hold it in place and then put a piece of metal there to secure it so it can heal. We call it surgical stabilization of rib fractures or SSRF. So you have to have the technology to make a plate that's soft enough that you can take a deep breath in and out, as well as be rigid enough that it doesn't move. Patients that undergo surgical rib fixation have lifting restrictions for about six weeks. After that time, they can go back to their life as they knew it before. I was recruited by Dr. Ronald Gross, and he hired me with the, with the goal of developing this program and bringing it to this hospital. This is not just about the operation, it's about a much bigger picture. That requires a multidisciplinary approach of good pain control, good breathing. It requires being mobile and timing getting out of bed with your respiratory care and your pain medication. As a nurse, my role in helping the patients after they've had rib fractures is coordinating the care after they leave the hospital. Sometimes they call with questions and concerns, and really all they need is a little education and reassurance about what's expected. The injury to the chest, particularly in patients over the age of 65, uh, results in significant both morbidity and mortality, meaning you have long-term problems, and you can die from as little as just three broken ribs. I am the co-owner of a company that splices wire rope and rigging, and uh, I work every day, uh, full time, and I had an accident with a tractor that ran over my, the left side of my body from my toe to my head. And in the process, it caused trauma to my leg, it crushed uh, six ribs. If you look at his injury pattern, his suspected hospital course would have been roughly somewhere in the neighborhood of 14 to 28 days with about 10 of those days in an ICU on a mechanical ventilator. Oh, yeah. He would have a three month stay in rehab and a six month recovery. We took him very rapidly to the operating room and were able to fix his chest and he had an amazing recovery less than a week in the hospital and was back at home within, I believe, 10 days. At the moment, I'm six weeks and uh, from the surgery and I'm at a real turning point of getting uh, really strong. I can walk steps normally. I can go up steps normally uh, without pain or uh, difficulty. Dr. Gross and Dr. Uh, Dobin, having those two guys and the staff and my treatment, it's huge. I, I mean, we're, we're so lucky to have a facility like this. What's really tremendous about it is, is that most patients don't even know it exists. And many physicians don't know this exists. So when they find out that the answer isn't just, here I'm gonna hand you a pile of pills and hope you get better, but in fact we have something else to offer, it's, um, it's very remarkable. Thank you.